Trump just lit the fire by blasting who's really responsible for rise in crime, doesn't care who he offends. Donald Trump sparked controversy, possibly offending a lot of people, after tweeting about a 13% crime rise in the United Kingdom and linking the horrible stat to radical Islamic terror and reminding readers that we must keep America safe. Some people criticize the president by accusing him of pushing rubbish that could make people commit hate crimes, fake news and others spoke of statistics and tried to use facts to negate the point that radical Islamic terror is a problem. Leftists suggest that he was wrong in linking Wales and England to terrorism and Trump was said to be spreading fear and xenophobia according to Daily Mail. Donald Trump was today accused of peddling rubbish designed to provoke hate crime after he wrongly linked the rise in offenses in England and Wales to radical Islamic terror. The U.S. president sent a tweet referring to figures out yesterday showing crime increased by 13 percent last year and warning we must keep Americans safe. But British MPs tore into Mr. Trump for talking nonsense and said he is spreading fear and xenophobia by wrongly blaming the rise on terrorism. Others accused him of peddling fake news and pointed out terrorism accounts for a tiny proportion of crime in Britain. Mr. Trump wrote on Twitter, just that report. United Kingdom crime rises 13% annually amid spread of radical Islamic terror. Not good, we must keep America safe. It was then reported that hate crimes in the UK rose about 30% and Trump was essentially blamed for it on the basis of his tweet being the type of jargon that promotes hate crimes. Let's not forget that many hate crimes have been hoaxes committed by delusional leftists looking to cause trouble. Others have stated that crime has gone up but that terrorism was only a small portion of it. That must be due to the fact that terrorists don't strike on a daily basis. The amount of victims they take out in a single day usually isn't as much as the rest of the location's victims over a period of time. Obviously terrorism numbers will be lower than the rest of an area, over time, and that's completely logical. However, the amount of terror attacks may have increased and that's too high. Also consider that terror attacks are much different than someone stealing a purse. Crime is crime, but there's variations of crimes and some are simply much more evil in nature. Labor MP Vic Cooper, chair of the Influential Home Affairs Select Committee, hit back saying, hate crime in the UK has gone up by almost 30% and rubbish like this tweet from Donald Trump is designed to provoke even more of it. Figures released yesterday revealed that police forces registered 5.2 million crimes in the year to the end of June. But while terrorism has surged, with five murderous attacks across Britain killing dozens and injuring hundreds in the last year, it is a tiny proportion of arrests. This statistic is an attempt to dismiss the problem with terrorism. There could be several reasons why terrorists are a tiny proportion of arrests. One reason is that many terrorists don't survive their explosive device or get shot by police. How can authorities arrest a terrorist if they're blown to pieces or filled with bullets on the ground bleeding out into sewer? Terrorists usually only strike once in a while, taking out mass casualties, but it's likely hard to arrest them due to the nature of the game in which they're usually not alive after the attacks. Tory MP Crispin Blunt, former chair of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, said, I think it is a bizarre lack of self-awareness from a supporter of keeping Americans armed to the teeth with wholly predictable consequences. He urged caution in using the police data as a basis for analysis, and added, however linking overall crime levels to Islamic extremism is utterly bonkers. Fake news, to coin a phrase. What doesn't make sense is this, why can't crime levels be linked to Islamic extremism? Isn't terrorism a form of a crime? If so, then terrorist attacks contribute to crime levels. Technically, that makes it real news. When a terror attack happens and hundreds of people are injured or murdered, does that not count as a crime? Does it matter if it's by an Islamic person or anyone else? It's still a crime regardless of who commits it. Maybe Trump is doing what he does best where he throws a tweet out there and the media runs wild with it. Or perhaps Trump is reminding Americans to stay aware of the one culture and religion that continuous spawns terrorists and commits acts of hate. What's funny about all of this is how maddening people get over one little Trump tweet. Trump could say anything at all and people on the left will eat it up.
they'll turn it into all sorts of stories. They'll twist his words. They'll do whatever they can to make Trump look bad. Let's look at it this way, if a particular group of people is well known to commit terror acts, then how can they remove that stigma and reputation? It's easy. Don't commit acts of terror and people won't have anything to talk about. Whatever you do, don't let the mainstream media or far leftists spin the narrative. Think for yourself.